Okay, I have screen shared again, and we have slides. Yay! Yay. Um, this is unfortunately not actually a screen. It, it is just the PDF of the slides, but the slides have nice pictures. Cool. Welcome, everyone, to um, the first 10 minutes of PyCon ZA 2020, um, which may, well, hopefully is not a taste of, of, of things to come. But we have, in fact, spent the first two thirds of the time for the opening, um, the opening ceremony uh, dealing with technical issues. Um, <laughs> but, and I, yeah, I suspect that we, um, we're all going to have a bit more of that in the next 48 hours. Um, but hopefully, um, hopefully it will still be fun for all of us, um, and that we'll kind of laugh at the uh, at the mistakes as they happen. Um, so, oh, waiting for slide to load. Who knows? <laughs> Where are the other slides? <laughs> Okay, that's better. Um, so, uh, firstly, a, a big welcome to <laughs> to everyone. Uh, you made it, and and we made it. Um, and I know that thank yous are usually left to um, kind of more to the end of the conference. But I actually wanted to um, I actually wanted to say some some thank yous now. Um, uh, firstly, to to all of the the organizers. Um, just thank you for taking on this kind of new challenge. No, no one's lives have been simple this year. Um, thank you to Whitney for um, co-chairing this with me. Um, and thank you especially to Neil Muller and Mike Davis for wrangling our um, Big Blue Button uh, servers. We, we knew nothing about Big Blue Button like three months ago. Um, and since then have been doing lots of testing and uh, setting up of machines. Um, thank you to to Adam for uh, wrangling the Discord registration box um, and making that work so seamlessly. Um, thank you to to Adriana for doing kind of an amazing work on the design again and a lot of um, a lot of fixing and um, uh, I think yes, a, a lot of fixing of like sort of small details on the website um, and. Yeah, and just and generally thank you to oh, and thank you to David for uh, in fact um, being so dedicated to getting our sponsors that he actually went back to work for Take a Lot in <laughs> in order to help get us more sponsorship for this year. Um, and yeah, and and thank you to to all of the the organizing team for taking on this big new challenge. And yeah, and then I also wanted to say a big thank you to the speakers. Um, Kind of all of you are taking on an I guess a new kind of speaking uh, with new tools, um, and uh, and I'm sure what what are kind of ch challenging lifetimes for, for for all of you in different ways. Um, so th thank you for kind of helping make this happen, um, and then thank you um, to all of you to all of the attendees for for coming along and trying this thing out with us. I know as an organizing team we we thought long and hard initially about whether. It made sense to do an online conference. There was this feeling of kind of, oh, it's very new, it's very different, it's not going to be the same. Um, but I think it's been been fun putting it together, and hopefully the next two days will be kind of really great. Um, yes. Um, cool. I'm going to maybe ask um, some of the other organizers if they can try and figure out um, how to get the people who are stuck and unable to get into the talk into the talk, but um, I think we'll we'll keep keep going. Um, this has, is being recorded, and we'll put the slides up in a moment. Oh, and there seems to be a bit of a, a pause needed while slides transition. So I'm just going to give that a moment. Um, but um, yeah, um, just kind of. Um, well, um, it's <laughs> the slide says the bottoms are down the hall behind you and to the left. No, your left. Um, kind of uh, just we're in a very different space this year. Um, th th things are different. Um, and yeah, um, let us know if you find any breakages. Um, yeah, but also um, feel free to join the, the, the channels like um, hallway and all the different rooms have been on Discord have been named after past venues. 
Uh, so hop onto the voice channels or the text channels and just try and make make some friends um, because maybe there's a chance it's less intimidating than standing around trying to make friends at an actual conference. Um, but it's also, um, yeah, it's just nice to see the same people that we always see at PyCon and say, hey, and don't feel, don't feel shy, so. Um, Simon, maybe we should switch cool. our videos off for a sec. Yeah, I'm also going to hop off and rejoin. Okay. And we're back. Simon, I think you're muted. I'm sure you know that, though. Yes, and yay, I'm back. Great. Um, oh. Uh, oh, Neil, we didn't actually get permission to, to share screen, but I'll keep going with the, the PDF. I just want to see what happens now if I flip forward. Oh, yay. OK, so um, <laughs> continuing onwards, hopefully these will get smoothed out as we go. Um, so um, hopefully you don't need a, a formal document to um, tell you how to um, interact nicely with your fellow human beings. Um, but in case you do, or in case someone else does, uh, we do have one. Uh, it's the, the Code of Conduct. Um, uh, if you're not familiar with it, um, kind of have a read through it on the website. Um, if you see anything go, going wrong, you'll find the um, Code of Conduct committee members on the top right of your Discord screen. Um, you can message them uh, directly, um, or you can find their details on uh, on the website under the About PyCon ZA uh, on the Code of Conduct page. Um, but uh, yeah, just just be kind to each other, uh, be nice, be professional, um, help everyone. Well, have a great time and help everyone else have have a great time too. Um, uh, Discord is the place where most of the um, or, or, or most of the kind of I guess conference hallway interaction is happening. So we're sort of hoping it will uh, it can replace uh, the parts of the conference where kind of organizers announce things um, and also where you as attendees get to chat to each other. Um, there's 
uh, at two Im well two or two important sections at the moment. Um, there's the PyCon is a day 2020 category where the announcements are and the help desk is and where there are channels for chatting about uh, talks happening in the diff in video room one and video room two. Um, and then there's the PyCon's Day 2020 hallway, uh, which is where kind of uh, all of us can just chat to each other um, as people who are interested in Python related things. And yeah, if you would like a channel there um, for a particular topic, just shout and we will um, and we will make one for you. Uh, we've created some voice channels for people to chat in. Uh, we've kept the list small to start off with, but if you need more, uh, shout. Uh, Big Blue Button is uh, where we are now, um, and this is where the talks are happening. Um, we do have a spare Big Blue Button server for in case of emergencies, but if, if a group of people would like to have a breakout session, like an open space or something, you can also ask and we can make uh, a big blue button room for you. Um, but yeah, and mostly big blue, blue button will be used for for the talks. Um, yeah, and um, and hopefully everything will go better than this. Um, um, <laughs> go better than the search presentation. Um, if you're looking for anything about how the conference functions, uh, there's a conference how to page uh, linked in the announcements channel and under the venue section on the conference website, uh, it goes through kind of how we're hoping things will work um, and we'll update it if there are any problems or changes kind of along the way and just shout if you have questions uh, in Discord and we will um, answer as quickly as we can. Cool, um, I want to make another big thank you to our sponsors. Um, we've got uh, two sponsors this year. Um, first of all, uh, Hexagon, uh, who used to be uh, uh, J5 back in the day and have been with PyCon today for a really long time. Thank you for being our top level gold sponsor uh, this year. And there's also a sponsors channel in Discord where we've got the sponsors logos and uh, links to their uh, sponsors page. And uh, you can just go and click like a happy emoji and say hello to them and show your appreciation there. Um, and then uh, thank you um, to take a lot for being our our sterling silver sponsor this year and to Superbalist and also for sending um, a lot of their uh, their Python people along to the conference. Uh, it's really awesome to see so many of you here. Um, at this point, I'll hand over to Whitney to tell you about the fun stuff. Cool. So um, tonight we uh, we had a PyCon special set recorded by Aaron Darcy, Tabang Bili, and Joey Lirubishi from A11 Radio. Uh, they're an online radio streaming service, and they're starting to try to stream a whole bunch of South African um, music DJs and stuff and, and bring those people uh, and musicians, like give them a platform uh, for us to enjoy. And so this was a special bespoke mix made by all of these three guys and it's done on vinyls. So we'll be sending the link for that a little later on and we'll be having a pub quiz tonight. So you can listen to music, hang out with people and uh, attend the pub quiz. So yeah, that'll be fun. Ah, <laughs> next, that's on the next slide. Yes. So more details to that uh, about that to come in Discord, so stay tuned. Uh, we believe it's going to be about an hour long, uh, so you can listen to the custom mix and enjoy a pub quiz. Yeah, and we've created a Discord channel if people want to chat about the club pub quiz beforehand or ask questions or form teams. Um, yes. Cool. Oh. Lightning talks happening tomorrow. So think of some good ideas. And the nice thing about Lightning Talks this year is that it's a lot less intimidating because there are 200 attendees, but you can sit and talk to people from the comfort of your home. So if you're kind of shy and you've never wanted to do a Lightning Talk because you don't feel like standing up in front of a whole bunch of people, this is your perfect opportunity. So yeah, yeah and if Lightning you get Talks will be terrified fine. at the last moment, you can just click close on the big, big blue button tab and <laughs> collaborate, claim later that your internet died. <laughs> 
Um, so, Hacktoberfest, this is an initiative run by Umuzi and uh, the African Coding Network, which you guys are about to hear about in the keynote. And it's an, it, so every year at PyCom we do the sprints, which are held over the weekend, which is an opportunity to collaborate on open source projects, to meet amazing software developers and have all your questions answered. So, Umuzi and the um, African Coding Network are looking for people to join their project. And I'm going to hold off on telling you a bit more about that. But it's an amazing open source project that focuses on ed tech and helps teach people software development. And they've made this incredible tool to help do that at, at scale. So I'm pretty keen to tell you about that um, a bit more in a sec. But that is one of the events at the sprints. So please check out the sprints page on the website. There are other sprints like updating wafers and open source. Um, it's an open source software package that's used for running uh, that we use for running the conference. And um, there's another one, but check out the page. And if there's any ones that you want to get started with, just let us know and we will add it to the list. 